core product is something that we call Lattice. It's an AI-powered sensor fusion network that can take data from hundreds or thousands of different sensors across land, sea, air, ground, and merge them into a single common operating picture that all of the people can reference and all of the machines can reference. You know, showing what's going on, not just now, but what's going to be happening in the future. So you can have our sentry towers, you can have ghosts all operating within the same area, and then it alerts you when there's something there that needs your action. So normally you would have 10 or 15 people looking at all different screens and trying to fuse that information together. But we're able to fuse those tracks into one user interface, have one person looking at that, and the ability to connect all of those things and make an operating picture to provide you better situational awareness is something that other companies are just not doing. Each squad will now have a mini UAV organic to them, which will be useful for scouting ahead on patrols and searching for potential ambushes along the way. In 2020, drone warfare graduated into the big leagues of modern large-scale conflicts. Colonel Scott Shaw, the head of the Army's Asymmetrical Warfare Group, had this to say about that, quote, What's clear in the conflict is that a less funded nation can do combined arms warfare. You don't need to be the United States or Russia. The price point to entry into combined arms warfare is lower than initially thought, end quote. We had never seen them used at this scale before, and the results were unbelievable. Drones were widely used by one side during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War. The Turkish-backed Arajaban used them to identify targets, send artillery GPS coordinates for quick fire missions. Azerbaijan used UAV strikes to take out 13 enemy surface-to-air missile systems. They destroyed Armenian tanks with such ease that there are all kinds of articles coming out now about how tanks are obsolete on the modern battlefield. This shows drones are even more effective during conventional wars than the asymmetrical wars like in the Middle East during the past two conflicts. These unmanned weapons will remain an important tool, but they are far from taking the lead yet. 